Hello, it's Carrie Bradford, and in this quick little tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take any of the planner inset designs and combine them with your favorite background to make a customized design for your planners and your traveler's notebooks. As you can see, I have the inset design right here, and then I've already gone ahead and pulled up a background design that I would like to use in this little space right here. The first thing that we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and size this down so that it is more within the realm of what I want in this space. And then the next thing that I need to do is this has just been opened up from the kit itself. So I need to ungroup it so that it separates the little cut dashed lines away from the rest of the design. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select the design. And because I'm going to use my knife tool, I'm going to end up cutting right in through this area right here. I need to see what's going on in there. So I'm going to turn this color to none and then add a line color. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it gray. Well, let's make it a little bit darker. So we want to weld these two pieces together, but there's all of this excess stuff out here. The easiest thing to do is to, I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to press K for knife to access my knife tool. And then I'm going to use the poly tool. And the reason why I'm doing this is that it gives me straight lines of cutting, yet I can kind of handle this curve. If I were to use the free hand, it kind of goes, eh, you know, I can't make a straight line. But with the poly tool, it kind of does a little dot to dot action. So I'm going to start using the polygon tool by clicking and dragging. And you can see I can kind of work around that. And I do not want to extend out past this area here, because if I do, it's going to try and cut up this one. And I only want it to cut this design. So I double clicked on the end and you can see it processed. And now I can pull this away. Now we can go ahead and select both of those. Let's actually make sure we select all of that. But we don't want that and we don't want the dashes. So I hold down my shift key and deselect what we don't want. So we have the outside line and the pattern. Right click and weld. Now we can fill that with color. And voila, we've made a cute little lattice flowery pattern and it turns into a really cute folder that you can adhere in your traveler's notebook with some washi tape like I've done with this regular design here. And then one last thing I would do is I would probably click on that image, right click and send to back so that you get the dashes in there so that you can make sure that you keep it all together because this is your score line right here. All right, you go have some fun with that and thanks for watching.